is James Elder for iPhone TV. Um, I'm in the Inglewood gym today, Inglewood in Sheffield. Just bumped into Tyan Booth now. This is a first. A lot of people say Tyan doesn't train too often, he's not in the gym, but yeah, he's true. here full kit, doing what he does. No, it's true. It's true. I have gone downhill, you know, in terms of training and, uh, you know, discipline. Mm -hmm. I have gone downhill, but yeah, that's true. That's true. I can't deny it, but I do like being in it. I like being in it. Yeah, wait, is it too loud? Is it too loud or what? what? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's too loud, isn't it? It's kind of taking it as it is. Oh, it's natural, yeah? Yeah, it's natural. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, you know, being in here, being around people like um, Brendan. You know, positive people. People who don't drink, smoke, gamble. You don't fornicate. It's a good vibe, it's a good atmosphere. Seems to be the gym is kind of like a multicultural melting pot. You've got people from all different nationalities, all different backgrounds. Yeah, that's Great true, place you know. to be, isn't it? Yeah, but that's what I mean. Not everyone's a, a success in boxing from here. Obviously, we've got a world champion and a European champion, but there are lots of people in here who are, you know... Different levels. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like are succeeding in other areas. Yeah. You know, like there's an accountant, there's a fireman, there's a school teacher, there's a lecturer, you know, a radio presenter. Mm -hmm. So it's like the positivity of Brendan and Dominic rubs off on other people. Mm -hmm. You know, not just boxers. How much of a hub is this place for the local community in Sheffield? How, how much good work do you think this place has done in the 50 years it's been? Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. People, you know, boxers. They always say um, boxing kept them away from a life of crime. And you get bored of hearing it, don't you? Yeah, but it's true, you know. Yeah, it's true because when you've trained on a Friday night, you're tired, aren't you? So, it's not an incentive to go out and start fighting because you're tired, aren't you? So, you just chill out. So, it's true. So it does keep you off the streets, yeah. Yeah, it's too loud in here, you know. I'm sure you can't hear any of this. Listen. Can you hear any of this? I'm going to have a look back. I'm, I reckon we're all right, but I'm going to have a look back in a minute. We'll check it out. If not, we're going to find somewhere more suitable oh. to fit your status. No, I ain't as, got any status, as, you know. I'm as a, kind of TV personality. I'm a know? nobody trying to become a somebody. But you know, like, you know, the last time Kel Brook had a press conference, can you hear what I'm saying? I can hear you loud. Like, can, can hear me, yeah? Me. Yeah, you know when Kel Brook had a press conference for his last fight? No, for this fight. Against Jojo Dan? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was sitting down, I was watching it, and I was sitting next to somebody. And they said, oh, I want to interview with Coogan. And Coogan was interviewing somebody at the time. So the person I was sitting next to, he got up, and he, he started like hovering around Coogan. You know, trying to get an interview. <laughs> and Coogan didn't pay him any attention, so he just came and sat back down again. But you know that level of desperation. What was it like? What was it like from your point of view, witnessing someone obviously like trying to trying to get themselves out there and, and being unsuccessful? I was embarrassed, you know. I was embarrassed because people look at this like it's an achievement, you know, getting interviewed. It's not. <laughs> I've been interviewed lots of times, but I haven't achieved anything in boxing. I'm a boxing bum, so getting interviewed doesn't mean you've achieved, does it? I think that's a bit harsh, to be honest. No, that's a. Uh... It takes a real man to lace up a pair of boxing gloves yeah, I know and mean. dedicate dedicate amount of time to have a fight. Yeah, so boxing's hard, you know, boxing boxing's is hard. a very hard sport. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, when you're desperate for attention like that. Like I seen um, one of Coogan's interviews yesterday, you know, when he interviewed that, that guy. I don't want to say his name. I don't want to say his name. Wow. Yeah, that was embarrassing. I only got through two minutes of it. You know? I got up to the point where Prince Patel called me a reject and I thought, oh, is that what he said? I cut, I cut you off before that, a long time before that. Yeah, I just can't stand it. Do you, you think know, guys like, like that are good for the sport, bad for the sport? What's, what's your opinion? Yeah, but I'm saying, you know when he's talking and he's saying, oh, women come to my fights to suck my dick and all this. It's like, what's, <laughs> what's going on here? And he's like looking around, you know, well, Wait a minute, so, so Prince Patel offended you, is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I don't like, I seem sexist, you know. You know, when I talk about me going to brothels and stuff like that, I sound sexist, but I do respect women. So I wouldn't say, oh, Women come to my fight to give me a blowjob, stuff like this, you know, like, acting like an idiot. What did you think of Prince Patel saying that he wants to fight Charlie Edwards as well as knock out Charlie Edwards' dad? That, that, that bit, again, quite controversial. Yeah, he's just trying to call out names, you know, trying to get some publicity, but he hasn't done anything. You know, people like Kel Brook and Barry. Barry will just train, that's all he'll do, train. He won't, he won't be shouting his mouth off on Twitter every minute. I know he, I know he talks about Quigg and Frampton and people like that, but... He's not tweeting every minute about how hard he's training. Are we in a kind of situation where if you don't mention these fights, 
sometimes a moment passes you by. You know, the, the guys have got to speak out for what they want sometimes. Yeah, but that guy's only had one fight though, so why is he calling people out at this stage? Do you know what I mean? Who's he calling out? He's calling out uh, Charlie Edwards. Yeah, but you know, calling himself Prince as well. You can see that he's trying to go down the Nassim Hamed. Yeah, but there's only one Nass. You know, this guy, Prince Patel, trying to stand out, trying to be really controversial. Yes, yeah, embarrassing. Speaking of which, your last interview for IFL TV, we've had a lot of controversy on the last last minute and a half regarding your comments on Naz as well. Yeah. Well, what did you say? I didn't read the comments. Well, oh, because I basically said it's exciting when Nassim Hamid crashed his car into that guy, got out and started running. Yeah, that's what I said, but... Very controversial. Yeah, but I'm not condoning it. And I didn't crash into the guy. I just said it's exciting and it's interesting. You know, for spectators or people who read the newspaper, reading stories like that. No, I understand that, but can you understand how that might be misconstrued? By yeah, but I'm saying like if there was a, say if there was a headline in the Sheffield paper saying Nassim Hamed gives a homeless man a sandwich. That's not going to catch on, is it? That's not going to be interesting. But him crashing into that guy and running off and that being on the front page of the paper, that would have sold. That would have sold papers. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if it said, oh, Nassim Hamed has donated a bit of money to charity, no one's going to be that bothered, are they? That's kind of the society we live in, though, yeah, where well, your, your good deeds are played down, your bad deeds are highlighted, yeah. aren't they? You know? Yeah, I'm saying, like, what he did was wrong. That's what I'm saying. It was exciting, money. That's why people watch films like Saw. You know, where people are getting sliced up and chopped up. It's interesting. But that doesn't mean it's right. So I didn't say it was right anyway, did I? No, so you didn't say it was right. No. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what people are saying, but forget it. Listen, right or wrong, you're entitled to your opinion and we like broadcasting your opinion. So keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you giving me a time and uh, we'll catch you again real soon. All right, thanks for that. Before I go, have you got anything you want to moan about? <laughs> no, I haven't, you know. I have, I have. I, have. But, um, I don't want to get too negative, so forget <laughs> it. I'm trying to stay right. positive. All right, well, listen, yeah. we'll, let, we'll let it build up and we'll catch you again real soon. All right, thanks for that. Thanks, nice one.